And today we're going to do the move, copy, array, divide, and alt fold. So I'm going to go very quickly here. And we would we need to be really good at copying. It's going to make a circle that is six inches. And I type it in at six inches, and I'm going to do hit P for push pull. And I'm just going to pull pull this up. Okay. A little bit thick, but that's okay. Well, that's all we need for right now. All right, I'm going to hit the space bar again, and I'm going to select this. And I am going to hit the M for move command, which is right over here. And um, when I'm on here, if you see at the bottom, it tells you that um, the copy command is available. So I'm going to click on here, and I'm moving it, but I don't want to move it. I want to hit a copy. So I'm going to hit the control key, and now I am making a copy. So there's a copy there. I can hit control again to make another copy and just put these wherever I want. Okay. So now I want to do an array command. Okay. I want to make multiple of these. Let's say I wanted 20 of those. So I'm going to move my screen just a little bit more to where you can see it. I'm going to go ahead and use the space bar to select. I have it selected. I am going to hit M for move and I'm going to move this and I'm going to have this right in this direction right there. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit make a copy and we're going to make a copy of this and we're going to move it a specific distance away. I'm going to type in 24 inches okay, in that direction. Notice that I'm in the green X direction and then 24 and then enter. That is spaced exactly 24 inches apart. The main key is that I am not hitting escape or deselecting. I left that blue. So I made a copy, left it selected. Now I'm going to hit shift eight and I'm going to type in 20 and you can see that down here at the bottom in this area right here, shift 20, hit enter and it makes a copy of 20 times. All right. So there is an array command. What if I didn't know how many it was going to be? I just knew I wanted it to start and end. So I'm going to do a different, I'm going to hit R for rectangle, R for rectangle. I'm going to make a rectangle like this. Doesn't really matter. P for push pull. I'm going to go all the way up and I'm just want to be the same height as this one here. So if I touch that, that, that height on another object, it'll give me that same height relative to where you started. Um, and now I'm going to do another copy command, but I'm going to place this randomly away in the X axis or what we would say the green axis. So I need to select space bar, select this object. Okay, that's clearly I didn't want all those. So I'm gonna hit escape to start over again. Space bar. Want this object. I'm going to do the move command again. I'll just select it over here. M. All right. And then I'm going to make a copy. Okay. Control for copy. And now I'm gonna move it in this direction. And I'm just gonna put it randomly like in this area. Okay, and click. And not hitting escape. I'm going to use the divide command, divide by 13, lucky 13, enter, and then it automatically puts 13 in there. And so now you don't know what the spacing is. You just know that you needed that certain number amount. So there is array, divide. All right. And then one more underneath the move command is what we would call the auto fold. So now I'm just going to create a shape of a rectangle that's like this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give it just a little bit of a push pull. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to push it up here. Now I want to take this, I'm going to do F for offset and do something that's a little smaller. That was too small. Control Z. We'll do F for offset. Okay, back to the move command. And I'm going to move. Let's go ahead and select this. And then M for move, control for copy, and start moving it up. But down at the bottom, I want to hit Alt. And Alt tells it to auto fold. And what it does, it does a push, pull, pull. So I copied that up. I used the move, copied it up, and said Alt. And Alt tells it to auto fold. And now it will create that 